about I it? I have many jumps of the aircraft. I was in the 82nd Airborne for many years at Fort Bragg, and this is so awesome. Better than that because you're staying in the air and you can just see and enjoy everything. These are phenomenal. There he's getting Jarrett ready for a solo flight in the Revex. So just going over a few things with him, making sure he's all set up. It's a gorgeous morning here on August 31st, 2024. Yeah, yeah. Here in um, Zephyr Hills. Uh, maybe don't use full throttle on your takeoff initially. Go to about three quarter throttle. And then if you feel comfortable, step into full throttle. But it's gonna take off really short, so make sure you got the bar way out. The wing is gonna click, so you're gonna feel that more than on the revolt. But um, don't, don't forget to push that bar out and hop in. Let me just show you where bar out is. Okay. That bar, reach forward. Show me where you think bar out is. Yeah. yeah, about there. Okay, so same spot as the Revolt. Everything's the same. Just when you get down in the flare, keep flying the plane. Don't let the plane land. And uh, don't let the nose wheel land. Just fly that nose wheel out and you'll be great. So it'll be more on this side. Yeah. Yeah, just see where your hands wind up, but don't expect to be on the other side because this engine turns opposite. But fly it like a Revolt. Uh, again, it's going to take off, stay in the power, don't step off the gas if it surprises you when the nose comes up. We have about 50% of people that solo in a RevX step off the gas. I'm screaming, on the gas, on the gas, on the gas. So when you apply that throttle, stay in the power. It won't flip over backwards, but it may surprise you. Feel like okay. Yeah. Pick. Another RevX coming in this morning. He's just out shooting touch and goes. And next we've got Jarrett waiting to take off for his solo flight. And this is Chris. This is one of our previous students. He loves coming out here and he flies a lot. It's a beautiful morning here. A little bit of a crosswind already. Look at that beastie climb. Woo! That's a full cool climb of a climb. Traffic wind current, the traffic wind current, runway 5, and then you'll see. Seville traffic, 135, Alpha Uniform, turning left base, runway 5, Seville. Alright, Jared, three quarter throttle, and don't forget to lean forward and get that bar out. So he's been doing all his training in the Revolt. So Larry told him to fly it just like the Revolt. Alright, touch you go. So we got Larry and Jeff here. Jeff is one of ours. I'm sure you recognize him from when he slowed. I'm sure this is bringing back memories. But he's been flying all over the country with his revolt and having too much fun. So he came up to Oshkosh with us and everything too. But gorgeous morning here at Zephyr Hills. And here we have Jarrett coming in for a second landing on a solo flight here in Zephyr Hills. Today's August 31st, 2024. Just a gorgeous morning here. Bit of a crosswind. Several traffic. 
Pacific 135, Alpha Uniform, turning left base, runway 5, full stop, zero. Nice job, Jarrett. Go ahead and bring it in for us. Bring it in, bring it in. We're getting windy and we're getting a heavy uh, traffic pattern here. We've got three on downwind right now, so I want to get him out of harm's way here. best landings but I'll take it. You know that was a pretty substantial crosswind you just landed in. I liked it and uh, what a beautiful flare. You really you made me proud because you kept it flying. So many of these latest RevX uh, solos have been great but they're just not finishing the flares and you really milked out the flare. You see how long it'll fly yeah. for in the oh, flare yeah. and uh, that last one I know it was a little bit of a kerplump uh, kerplop uh, landing yeah. but uh, it, with the crosswind and everything else and of course these extra large tires do the very best on the grass but uh, that was a great approach great flare saw you whipping it around on downwind oh, it's, there it's just so reactive it's easy to fly it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful and the instruction from from you is outstanding if anybody wants to learn how to truly fly and fly correctly you've got to come get taught by Larry absolutely Larry and Amy have been awesome <laughs> so what do you think of all this? The, the no, nothing in front of you? You know, as long as you look down the runway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And you're sitting straight in your chair. Yeah. Did Next you thing, like you the feel of the wind yeah. at 39 miles yeah. an hour? Just kind of... I was going 50 on the down, downwind. Uh, airspeed or ground speed? Ground speed. Okay, yeah. Wow. 38. Uh, yeah, 11, 12 mile an hour winds aloft in the pattern, and the yeah. wind sock is now... Uh, it's it's 90 degrees to the runway, so this is a nice little crosswind landing RevX solo here that we got. Uh, it is beautiful up there. It is absolutely calming, therapeutic, mentally and physically. It's just it's beautiful flying with nothing around you, and you're just like a bird flying in the air. Amen awesome. to that. Yeah. That's exactly how I feel about I it. I have many jumps of the aircraft. I was in the 82nd Airborne for many years at Fort Bragg. And this is so awesome. Better than that because you're staying in the air and you can just see and enjoy everything. These are phenomenal. How's the power? Oh, it just, man, that thing took off quick. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but hit the gas and next thing I know, I was up. And so it was, yeah. It wasn't like shocking to me, but it was like, wow, okay. Cause you're used to going down the runway a little bit longer. Yeah, and yeah, what do you think your long. ground roll was? I have no idea, but it was not much. You know, I was up quick. Yeah. And the power of this is, is great. Yeah, so you were yeah. using full full power with it uh, the second time around? The second time around, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can tell you got more comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it, was, it was awesome. Yeah, and the uh, roll rate, I noticed you were really whipping it around up there. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah, you can control it really easy. You can just fly it around and it uh, reacts real easily, easy on the controls. It is it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful machine. Awesome. You awesome. have done an awesome, phenomenal job with this stuff and the instruction. Can't say in, can't say enough about the instruction. I appreciate that. You're a good student. I appreciate all your hard work. Is it, it really like the training that you got in the revolt uh, adequate for transitioning to the RevX? Absolutely. Uh, because when you're coming in it's so much slower. Everything is slower, you can feel it better. Uh, I could feel the floating. I uh, need to practice that a little more because I, you know, I tend to round out a little high, but I could feel getting used to around. Uh, it, it was very good training in that with that wing because it was so much harder. And then you get in this and it's easy. Yeah, this is a pretty easy to fly trike, isn't yes, it? absolutely. Again, thank you, Amy and Larry, for everything. You can't go wrong by having Larry teach you. He's a, uh, and if, especially if you're military, you'll greatly appreciate it. <laughs> the drill the drill sergeant i yes. think he's going there yeah we all agree with that don't we jeff <laughs> yes bro yes the we best do. instructor to the worst student <laughs> <laughs> that's not true all right yeah, okay maybe a little challenging but we love you anyway you're awesome and, and i gotta <laughs> say you know jeff is out here 
rooting on his uh, teammate here that's soloing this morning. Yeah. Jeff now is quite the veteran uh, trike flyer. How many hours do you have, Jeff? I'm up to about 500 altogether. 500 hours. Is the, is Holy the... crap, I didn't know that. Now, you were here at the airport at what time this morning? About 4.15. <laughs> and you were flying last night at what time? Uh, I think it was around 7. So, yeah. is it safe to say you love trike flying? Yeah, 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 I really do. Would you say it's changed your life? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely been a big plus. And what did you do this summer with your trike? Well, I followed you guys to Oshkosh for a week, but I zigzagged my way all the way home and stopped at five or seven different people's fields and uh, airports and stayed with them and, and flew where they like to fly. They showed me. So you had your revolt they, in your trailer. Yeah. And you yeah. went and saw a couple other people that had revolts. Right, yeah. A couple have revolts. Most, of, most of them had revolts. And so we're going to be packing this thing up. Uh, where's this going back to? Uh, going back to Tennessee. Okay, and you've got your trailer with you? Got my trailer <coughs> with me. Um, be heading back to Tennessee, and then I'm going to have a, uh, hopefully in my new land, I'll have a, I've got a runway out there. For, uh, it's going to be about a thousand foot. And nice. I fly this, hopefully fly this for a year or so, and then upgrade and maybe look at the instructor stuff. Yeah, so you're looking at a revolt at some point. Yes, absolutely. Gotcha. gotcha. Second. You think you think you'll have fun with this in the meanwhile? Absolutely. This is going to be phenomenal, phenomenal, and therapeutic. Like I said, and I will. I would enjoy this tremendously because you go out in the air and it's just you forget everything else, and you, know, you can just de-stress and, and come back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, you enjoy well, this shake little bar here, too. Thank you. Thank you for coming out, Jeff. And I want to... Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Awesome job. That was really cool. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to learn more about trikes or already fly trikes, check out trikeaction.com, where the action is.